Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here. Merry December! Welcome to a brand new game here on the channel. So this is the Dragon's Lair Trilogy. Massive, massive thank you to Drew for the amazing support. Without Drew, I would not be bringing this series to the channel. So everybody, make sure you thank Drew down below in the comments, guys. Anyway, this is an amazing animated game series by Don Bluth, who is an American animator has done stuff like The Land Before Time, Anastasia, those are the ones that I can think of off the top of my head. But absolutely love his work, his animations. I haven't played any of the Dragon's Lair games. I obviously seen a little bit of it on the series on Netflix, Stranger Things, which is amazing. You should check it out if you haven't seen it, guys. Stranger Things Season 1, Season 2 is available on Netflix. But from what I saw in Stranger Things, it looks really, really cool. Now, full disclosure, we're not technically going to be playing this game. It's quick time events, but this is the Dark Souls of quick time events, okay? It's really, really hard. Basically, you cannot change the controls to the D-pad. It's only the analog stick, and from my personal experience just playing this for 15 minutes, I lost my temper so much because it doesn't feel very accurate selecting the directional buttons with the uh, analog stick because there's like on-screen prompts at the bottom. They might not appear in the way that we're going to be doing this, but there's on-screen prompts at the bottom and it tells you what you need to do, whether you need to use your sword or choose a direction. And because you can only use the analog stick, it just doesn't feel accurate and I kept dying. So we're not going to be playing the game. What we're going to be doing is watching the game and obviously I'm going to be commentating while watching. So there is a really awesome game mode. We're going to be checking it out now. But first of all, let's read the description. So Don Bluth presents Dragon's Lair. Play as the heroic Dirk the Daring, a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. Oh, <laughs> that typical fantasy storyline, though. <laughs> you control the actions of a daring adventurer finding your way through the castle of a dark wizard who has enchanted it with treacherous monsters and obstacles. In the mysterious caverns below the castle, your odyssey continues against the awesome forces that oppose your efforts to reach the dragon's lair. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. Okay, so let's dive in, guys. Now, as far as I know, this Dragon's Lair, which is the first game, is roughly an hour-long experience. And then I think the second one is two hours and a half, and I'm not sure how long the third one is. It's a trilogy, so you get all three of the games. So let's go over to Extras. And this is the option that I'm going to be selecting, which is Watch Game. So rather than me using the quick time events, initiating those, we're just going to watch. So I'm going to leave deaf animations on because I want to see the deaf animations in each area at least once so we can see what they're like. And then we're just going to go through all of these scenes. So I'm just going to select play all guys. So let's see. Oh, there's the castle. This looks nice. I'm playing on a 43 inch HDR 4K TV as well. Oh, of course, rickety bridge. Oh, it, what the hell? That's like an eye monster. So does it choose randomly the deaths or not? Because it didn't, didn't initiate a death animation there. Oh, there we go. We've gotten through. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> It's not really playing them in order though, is it? Like, it should have played the death animation after we got through the scene with the eye monster. So there's a random tentacle there. This place really is treacherous, guys. <laughs> I think they might be roots, actually. No, no, it is. It's like an octopus. <laughs> Squished. It just wants to be loved. It just wants to hug him. <laughs> Oh my god, so it seems like in the rooms there's multiple ways to die, not just one. Snake! That snake kind of reminds me of the snake off Tarzan, actually. But not the same colouring, just the way it looks. Oh god, a room of fire. Well, this would be where I die, because not only am I scared of fire, but I'm also scared of heights. <laughs> so I would just fall to my death. And those ropes did not look stable. 
Right, so you can either die from falling off the ledge and losing your balance or from burning your hands on the ropes. Okay. My god! This princess better be worth it, man. You know what this kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of those multiple choice books that you can get. Me and my brother used to play those so much when we were kids. You know, you kind of read out the story and then you have to choose between like four options and then flick to a different page. Oh my god. See, I kind of feel like um, this is out of order really. They should. What they should have done is played the scene where you're victorious and then straight after played the death scene of that same scene. But it's kind of out of order doing this watch all really. What the hell's that? It's like a slime monster and then... And then a smoke monster coming out of the cauldron. Some of them are in order, but others aren't. Okay, so you get electrocuted by that smoke monster. That makes sense. What the heck is that? Is that a rat? It's an ugly ass rat. The animations are very nice though. I can see why this was revolutionary for its time when it came out on arcade machines. They're rats. <laughs> They're very ugly looking rats though. <laughs> there were stairs, now there isn't stairs. That's another one of those uh, monsters that we saw at the start with the eyes on the end of the tentacles. There's so much... You're either getting killed by a monster or you're falling to your death pretty much so far. Hmm. Oh magic blade! I love that in games where you have to fight like a magic blade. It's so cool. You don't really see that much anymore. Or maybe correct me if I'm wrong. Are there any games that came out recently in the last year that have a magical sword that you get to battle? And I love that as well where statues come alive and you have to fight them. That's um, something that I really loved at the start of the third Dark Souls games was, uh, was it Gundry? Because he kind of just looked like a statue, you pull the sword out of him and then he comes alive and you have to fight him. That was quite epic. While he looks like the Grim Reaper! Okay, so I have no hand-eye coordination, hence why I wasn't able to do the quick time events on this game, but I would totally die there. I would just get knocked out and fall off the edge. <laughs> Oh my god! He got knocked the fuck out! Save me! Save me! Are they the only lines that the princess actually gets? <laughs> the princess is looking fine though, gotta be sad, gotta be sad. <laughs> he has like the manliest scream going, I've gotta say. Oh my god! Oh no, a room of gas. Some of my worst fears are drowning to death, being burnt to death, and being gassed to death. So yeah, so far this game has like pretty much ticked all of those fear boxes. <laughs> burnt alive, there we go. The heck is that supposed to be? Magic, magical pony. Every knight needs a steed, but a steed that actually obeys you and isn't trying to kill you <laughs> would be nice. <laughs> the animations are so, so good though. I mean, it is a little bit grainy, but it's a very old game and I am watching it on a 43 inch screen, so... Oh my god, the Black Warrior. The Black Knight of Doom. One does not simply walk into a castle and save the princess. One must die many, many times. <laughs> I find it hard to believe that a sword like that could just bust through a giant bone hand. But then I suppose there's no like muscles and flesh holding the bones together, so... I'm trying to put logic to this. 
Why am I trying to put logic to this? We've seen all sorts of chaotic, weird monsters so far. None of it's logical. It's just an enchanted castle that is designed to kill Dirk and stop him from saving the princess. <laughs> Many ways to die. Oh, eaten by bats. That's not nice. From the looks of it there, those bats aren't even real. They're kind of just like a hologram almost. Or they're just made of pure magic. <laughs> so you're either eaten to death by the bats or you're pushed off by the bats. Both of those aren't pleasant, to be honest. <laughs> Why won't you jump, Dirk? Jump! Jump if you want to live! I don't even know what happened there. It looked like he was trying to jump off and he just jumped to his death anyway. Oh, we've got a, a lizard prince. Okay. Run away from the lizard king. Everyone fear the lizard king. So, did any of you guys actually play this on any kind of arcade machine back in the day? Let me know in the comments. And also let me know if you picked this up and you have actually been able to use the analog stick for the quick time events. Because like I said, I just couldn't do it. It was too difficult. Like, you had to be so accurate. Drink me? No. This is not Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I don't know about you, but if I'd gone through this castle and everything else was trying to kill me, I totally wouldn't trust the sign that says drink me. <laughs> It'd be like, no, hell no! I ain't drinking no strange liquid that says drink me. <laughs> no thanks. Yep, so we have had burnt alive, falling to your death from a large height, and also drowning. So all of my fears in this game are here. Why? Why would you? Why? I think Dirk is pretty stupid. Really. I mean, I've chosen to play all the death scenes, but... Everything in this castle is trying to kill Dirk, so... Don't pick up a sword and shield that's just lying there. Don't drink mysterious liquid that says drink me. <laughs> Nothing is your friend in this castle. <laughs> Everything wants you dead. Whee! And again, I can't swim, so this would just be a nightmare for me as well. All of these directions don't sound inviting whatsoever. Nice. Here we go. This is the death scenes now for the watery area. So, smashing on rocks. And drowning. <laughs> so, first breaking your bones, still having the pain of breaking your bones, and then drowning as well. Lovely, lovely jubbly. The heck are they? Oh my god, they're hideous. Naked. They're naked, whatever they are. I can't tell what they are though. Guys, what are they? They kind of remind me of bulldogs. Giant naked bulldogs. <laughs> I have no clue what they are. They're creepy as fook though. Not the scariest thing we've seen in this animation so far. In this game. I'd say the scariest thing so far we've seen is like the large bat or um, like the smoke monster that came out of the cauldron. Oh, okay, I stand corrected, that guy. That guy? He reminds me of the Witch King, one of the ring wraiths in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so he's the scariest so far. The Black Rider. Oh, seriously? 
Okay, so if everything else hadn't killed me by now, this certainly would. Because, again, I have no hand-eye coordination. I suck so bad at judging distance. Like, my depth perception is really bad. <laughs> so I would be crushed by this boulder right now. I suppose out of all of the deaths, that would be one of the quickest, though. I imagine getting crushed by a boulder that big would be relatively uh, quick. And I don't think your body would necessarily have the time to process the pain. Yay, here's the dragon! We found the princess, the dragon is there. Oh my god, she is crack-a-lacking. Just saying. <laughs> Sexy lady! Why does the dragon want the princess? I'm guessing this dragon's a guy. <laughs> Please save me. The cage is locked with a key. The dragon keeps it around his neck. To slay the dragon, use the magic sword. <laughs> use the magic sword. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously. They definitely gave her sex appeal. I mean, look at what she's wearing as well. Is this princess a fairy? Why is she floating? I'm assuming this princess has magical powers of her own. And that's why she's floating inside that ball. Come on, Dirk, slay the dragon. I feel bad for dragons. I like dragons. I wish more dragons were portrayed as actually good not bad in games there are a few games where you get to team up with dragons and dragons are your friends obviously draken god ancient gates how to train your dragon the games the movies <laughs> oh la la can't can't have a kiss on the lips though can't have a kiss on the lips back in those days that would have been too much <laughs> just a kiss on the cheek for dirk being victorious Okay, so that was that was the whole game then, guys. I think that was probably in the order that it's meant to be played. It kind of felt like as it progressed, the puzzles got more and more difficult as well. Uh, I kind of wish that there was a smoother playback option. It was kind of jittery. You could tell where the breaks were to import the commands, the quick time events, and obviously switching between scenes and stuff. Um, I would have preferred it if they just had like watch as a movie and they edited it together so well that it was just a very smooth experience to be honest. But yeah, like the animations are really really nice and even though I'm watching on a 43 inch screen, they do hold up even now. They look rather rather nice. A little bit grainy, but that's to be expected. This is a very old game that's been ported over and enhanced slightly for the PS4. So yeah, like, let me know if you picked this up and how you played it. Did you play through it with the quick time events? What did you actually think of using the analogue? Like I said, I've had major difficulties, so that's why I've chosen for this. Rather than it being a wasted game to actually still show you the experience and commentate during the playthrough. So let's just like scroll through here and just refresh the memory on what we actually faced. So that room, it was like we had to dodge the falling stones from the roof. That was pretty easy looking anyway. This room, it was kind of like, um, it looked like octopus tentacles for me because it had like the suction pads on it and they were coming from all directions. Then we had the snakes, which was okay. The fire ropes. Now this is where I decided I was shit at the quick time events in this game, the fire ropes, because I could do the first and second but then the third one, I would fail on it every time. And then the one time that I was successful on the third rope, I actually didn't realise that there was a ledge and I had to do another quick time event. So I ended up falling off to my death there as well. <laughs> so yeah, that's when I lost my tempo with the game. I was like, no, can't play it anymore. So I went into extras and discovered there was this watch the game instead, which is so good because that means obviously I can still share it with you guys on the channel. 
pool room that was interesting uh wizard's chamber this is where there was like the green slime monster and then there was also the uh yellow smoke monster the yellow smoke monster was quite scary looking not gonna lie giddy goons right they kind of look like rats to me but i have no idea what they actually are i guess because they've got horns they could be a type of imp i don't know Flattening stairs, uh, Smivy as well, that was cool. Grim Reaper, probably wouldn't have died against the Grim Reaper, but yeah, those, those, um, I don't even know what to call them, they were just spinning around, they could knock you off. Those what would be what killed me in that area, to be honest. Wind room, all those things floating around, treacherous, we have the bedroom, fire room. So many deaths with fire. <laughs> Flying barding. That was the horse. Robot knight. That seems... It kind of reminds me of, um, you know, like, the music games you could play and you have the dance mat. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of, anyway. Crypt creeps. That was with the giant skeleton hands. Was able to slay that with a sword. Catwalk, dangerous, dangerous wooden panelling again, not very safe. Bat King, that was cool. I really liked the look of the Bat King actually, uh, but I do in general like bats, so that's probably why. Falling platforms, then we had the Lizard King as well, that was cool. <laughs> drink me! <laughs> no, you're okay, I'm not gonna drink you. Tilting room, I don't really remember that bit actually, the tilting room. Then we had the frame room, that was with the uh, sword and stuff, underground river, mud men, oh, so that's what they were. <laughs> they look like naked bulldogs to me, <laughs> I, do I don't know why. Black Knight, now that for me was one of the coolest scenes. Black Knight was my favourite scene along with the last scene which is uh, the dragon's lair in all those animations. So yeah, I managed to get the dragon dead and then save the princess, guys. But anyways, that was Dragon Slayer, the first game. Uh, I might do, like, a watch through. I guess I could call it a watch through. It's not really a playthrough, is it? But uh, I'll probably still call it a playthrough because watch through isn't a keyword for YouTube. But um, I don't know. I might do the others, but I'm not going to do the quick time events because, like I said... I'm not very good at them on this game. I wish, I just wish, like, they would update it and let me use the D-pads because that would be so much easier. I don't understand why they said use the analog when there's no, there's no in-between directions, you know? It's just, like, right, left, up, down, so they could have let you select the D-pad instead. But anyways, guys, I guess this was kind of like a reactor video to Dragon's Lair, the first game. I really enjoyed it. The animations are very nice. Um... Definitely, definitely revolutionary for its time on the arcade machines. Really, really cool. And uh, I think this is a really good version because you've got the other games as well. Let me just briefly go into the second game and see if that same option is there. Probably. You probably get the same option for all of the games. So let me just go over. So I'm not going to read that because if I do decide to do the other games, I will read that there and then on that video. Right, so extras. And there we go, we do have watch game as well. So I'm probably going to do that for each one of the games, guys, if I decide to do more. But once again, massive thank you to Drew for helping me get this game and bringing it to the channel. Thank you so much for your overwhelming support. If you liked what you saw, guys, don't forget to leave likes on the video and, of course, comment in the comment section. Let me know how you played this game, if you're going to pick it up, your thoughts and opinions, and I can't wait to get back to you, guys. But anyways, take it easy. Thank you for watching. Have a Merry Christmas, guys. See you later. Bye!